All right, so to back flush the injector, I just did exactly the opposite. I slipped the 516 toes over the, the barrel around the jet, being careful to not hit the tip. I fill a little bit of my solvent in there again, and I am going to do exactly the same thing, which is pulse that injector, and you can see the air coming out. So I'm going to squeeze the bottle just a little bit to put a little bit of air in and let it run backwards through the tube and into the jar. So I'm going to back flush it. I, I flushed it twice. I'm going to back flush it twice and I'm going to flip it over one more time. So once again, I'm going to disconnect my leads first. Now very carefully, I'm going to lift the injector up and let that juice run back in. Your keys are in your car, then they're on the hook. You guys have wives too. So I reconnected the injector just like before. Put another couple of inches of, of solvent into the hose and I'm going to pulse it. Now, I know you can't see it because of the the size, but I get a real nice jet spray through that injector when I pulse it. Alright, so now that I feel good that the body of the injector is cleaned up, the inside is flushed and back flushed, I'm going to unplug my pulser, whoops, throw the leads off the table, unplug the pulsing rig, disconnect the flush hose which I am going to simply stick right in the pickle jar so I don't end up with a mess. And I am going to finish this, uh, finish this up. So let me wipe my hands down and uh, we'll, we'll finish it up.